say this, that in soft drinks, uh, um, that the tax will directly affect low-income households. Well, however, if, if they are low-income, then they probably either depend on Medicare or Medicaid for health insurance, and they probably can't afford very good health care. Well, then, then it will, um, the tax will directly go to help fund those programs, and if they keep their soda intake down and their sugar intake down in general, then they will be healthier, they will be less obese, they'll have less heart disease problems, and less diabetes. This, um, this ta um, and then she, she also stated that um, it will rise corn prices because of the less soda intake. I'm not really sure where she's trying to go with that. Because of the fact if there's less soda then there's and less um, use of high fructose corn syrup, then the high fructose corn syrup can be used for other methods. Um, this can feed more chickens, more cows, and, um, and produce more food. So wouldn't this cut food prices? Food, like essentially, food prices would go down, wouldn't they? Um, th this is not the government telling you what to do and how to live your life. It's personal choice. If you want to go have soda and you want to pay more for it, go ahead, that's fine. But this is them trying to help you and help you live longer. Americans now live longer than they used to because of because of the health care we have. So essentially, if we put more money into the healthcare system, you can be healthier for longer. And um, the money, okay, and then she also stated that it would cost money to start this tax going and start, and it would cost money, um, it, and people, it would cost too much money and it, people would lose their jobs. But the people who lose their jobs could work on programs, uh, like people wouldn't lose their jobs because it could actually create more jobs and people could help, um, help start awareness for the growing obesity problem. Everyone knows there's a problem, but no one's doing anything about it. This is the first, like, this is the first step you can take to doing something about it. Um, in part of my evidence that I found, um, in, the CB in the CBS News uh, report, Brian Montopoli says that soft drinks are nutritionally worthless and are, direct, are directly related to weight gain because beverages are more conductive to weight gain. And this, um, people drink these sugar beverages on top of their regular meals. So wouldn't that mean that they're just taking in more and more calories? As Michael Jacobson said, um, proponent, um, at least a dozen states have already taken on this tax, and it is a, a, a raising awareness. And this tax is actually generating enough revenue to be put through um, uh, put through more programs. Thank you very much.